Can you use Wing Chun in a street fight? Wing Chun is a concept-based martial art that originated in southern China. Like many traditional martial arts, specific details on its origins are unclear. The legend says it was created by a Shaolin Kung Fu master. This martial art became widespread after Wing Chun master started to teach the style in China and Hong Kong. And with both Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan being amongst the martial artists, the popularity raised a lot. The question here is, what is Wing Chun, and how would it be used in a street fight? But before we start, don't forget to punch the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Also like and share the video with your friends. Wing Chun is a traditional southern Chinese Kung Fu style. It was refined in Hong Kong and specializes in close contact combat. Quick punches and kicks are seen in Wing Chun, which makes it appear somewhat impressive. But is it any good in self-defense? Wing Chun is a highly fluid style of self-defense which is designed to immediately shut down explosive and high-powered attacks. Basic Wing Chun concepts include simultaneous attack and defense, centerline control, and constant forward pressure. The techniques are designed to be performed with reflexive responses being used to off-balance attackers and turn their own attacks against them. The martial art is designed to be used at high speed and when engaging at close range. With this, Consistent forward pressures emphasized and common striking targets include vulnerable soft tissue areas like the groin and the throat. Sounds pretty crazy, right? It certainly can be. What can be said about Wing Chun can be said about any form of martial art if you don't know how to use it effectively in a real fighting scenario. It's not going to be any good. If you do wish to use Wing Chun effectively in a real fight, you need to practice and learn the art with self-defense in mind. Street fights usually randomly occur. They usually start from a distance but get closer as the attacker gets aggressive, verbally and gets close enough to push and punch. There might be no warning of the attack, but the attacker will get close enough to you to attack. In terms of Wing Chun, this is ideal as it is a close combat form of martial art. In order to be effective in applying the moves and tactics, your attacker or your opponent needs to be fairly close to you. They can be close enough to grapple you, but with your speed and Wing Chun knowledge, they won't be able to carry out their planned attack. There are several aspects to Wing Chun that make it an effective form of self-defense. First, there is balance. When practicing Wing Chun, the center of mass is always under careful control. Rotating your form and leveraging gravity are used to generate powerful force. This force can be used to deliver powerful strikes through limbs, the hips, and torso are also rotated in order to provide effective striking and defense opportunities. This type of rotation allows the fighter to remain firmly on his feet while accelerating weight without displacing the center of balance. The energy of Wing Chun comes across powerful but balanced. This is essential in a fight where you need to physically stand your ground when striking or avoid falling when struck or pushed. Another aspect is directly using your energy to redirect your opponent's limbs, trap them or deflect them all while guarding your balance. No leaning your torso or shifting your weight from one foot to the other, remaining in your position relaxed but ready to attack. The main objective of Wing Chun is to attack the center of your opponent while using as little energy and motion as possible. This is where being creative and innovative comes into play. This martial art is designed to include strategic defensive blocking and trapping fighters are taught to have a strong forward focus in order to effectively jam or trap an attacker's limbs to buy enough time to attack. This technique relies on the body's bone alignment and not on sheer muscle strength alone. According to legends, this martial art was created by a woman, four women, and older physically weaker people to effectively defend themselves against larger, stronger, and more powerful opponents. The basic Wing Chun techniques that are normally taught consider of hand strikes, back fist strikes, kicks, blocks, and traps. All of these strikes when taught correctly can be brutally effective. 
When it comes to kicks, they can only be truly effective when carried out with speed and determination, while keeping in mind your center of balance. Kicks include the straight kick, round kick, and side kick. Wing Chun has been developed to be an empty hand self-defense system, meaning you can defend yourself without a weapon, which is pretty important as not many people are equipped with a knife or gun when suddenly cornered by a gang on a quiet road. Apart from being practical and adaptable, Wing Chun is especially effective in combat against stronger opponents because it is a combat system based on tactile reflexes. Wing Chun enables you to anticipate attacks and block them instinctively. Mental focus plays a big part, especially focusing on internal strength as opposed to physical strength. Any person of any age, size, and gender can learn this system of self-defense. Another element to Wing Chun that will make it very useful in a street fight is that there are no rules. The primary striking targets in Wing Chun include the back of the head, fingers, throat, and groin, most of which are illegal in most mixed martial arts competitions, although many athletes do use hand trapping as a way of opening up strikes in their attacks. The technique of Wing Chun was specifically designed to viciously incapacitate an attacker, not to score points in a sports competition. Wing Chun hand strikes are designed to cause eye and throat damage, and the kicks aim to tear through tendons and ligaments, usually in the knees and ankles. So with all of this said, we believe it is safe to say that Wing Chun is definitely used in a street fight, both from the self-defense and attack perspectives. What do you think about Wing Chun? Will you practice? Let me know in the comments below, and I will handpick and feature your comment in the next video, so don't forget to comment. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like button to show your support. It was a pleasure to talk to you guys, please like and share the video with your friends. Until next time.